welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 without losing any kind of data and application so let's quickly get started first what you will have to do you need to bring up your any of the favorite browser like google chrome and in the search you have to type windows 10 iso download and then click on the first link that says download windows 10 disk image click on it and now once you come up here you will not find the windows 10 iso download option so what you will have to do click on the three dot at the right and top of chrome browser then from the suggestion over up to more tools click developer tools and once the developer tool comes up again click on the three dot of the developer tools over up to more tools and click on network conditions now at the bottom in the network condition you will find user agent uncheck this option from the drop down select chrome os once selected you have to reload the page and this time when you will reload the page you will find the windows 10 update that is the iso option so click on select edition choose windows 10 multi edition iso click on confirm now you can close the developer tool choose your product language then choose 64 or 32 bit whichever you want to download and once you click on it the downloading will be started so this will take some time because it will be around 5 to 6 gigabyte and it will take some time so meanwhile the next thing that you will have to do bring up a new tab and you have to search for win cde mu the very first link that you will be getting of download click on it and then click on this download that is in a green color close the advertisement and the downloading will be started once it started you don't have to click on it simply open the folder where it's been downloaded now right click on win cdumu that has been downloaded click run as admin click on yes now here check the option that says customize installation option and check this below option require administrative right to mount images then click on install click on install and once it will be done it says installation complete so you will have to click on ok and now you have to right click on the windows 10 iso that you have downloaded right click on it click select drive letter and mount click on yes and now here you don't have to make any kind of changes so simply click on ok it will be installing the driver then click run setup.exe click on yes and then finally you will be getting this kind of box that says preparing the windows 10 so you will have to wait here and it's recommended that while installing this avoid doing any kind of other work okay so just wait until it's all been done and the windows 10 setup page will be up it says install windows 10 so you will have to check the box here then you have to click on next and now here it will ask you to enter the product key so i will be sharing the generic key in the description you will have to copy that key now don't worry this is a generic key and provided by the microsoft only so you can use it so copy from the description paste here and then it will say your product key work continue when you are ready so click on next click accept so once all the checks are completed it will give you a tick mark that says install windows 10 pro key personal file and app so now you will have to click on install and the installation will now be started so simply wait until it's all been completed All right guys finally you can see that windows 10 has been installed on our windows 10 and we successfully upgraded from windows 7 to windows 10 so now if i talk about the data that you had on windows 7 so nothing has been changed all the data applications and file will remain the same so if i bring up the file explorer and then open the download so you can see this is what we downloaded in windows 7 and we still have over here similarly any document that you had in the document pictures everything will remain the same 
So this is one of the best and the easiest method to successfully upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10. And hopefully guys you will find this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.